I wanted to tell you about three apps on my phone that I use all the time. That I think all of them I use in the free area. Um, and I th and I use them all the time. So I wanted to tell you about them. Um, the first one is called um, StashBot. Actually, that one I might have had to buy, but it's a very, it's, it's, it's a small amount. I'm thinking it's less than $5. I bought it years ago. I love it because it has several different kinds of garments. And basically what it is, it's, it's, it's a, a reference to, for you to know how much yarn to buy. If I want to make a sweater um, that is a, a crop sweater with a three-quarter sleeve, or I want to do um, a cardigan with full sleeves. Um, if I want to do a hat, if I want to do a baby hat, how many yards do I need? So it has the garment. It has the, um, you have to kind of know what the gauge is that you're going to use. Um, for instance, you know, for, for a yarn like this lively, anything that's worsted, when I knit, I know that I'm going to knit be like between four and five stitches per inch. And a lot of times, um, yarn bands will have kind of the gauge on there. Um, you can always use that. But it's so it's it's kind of it works like an abacus kind of. You pick these you pick the, the item that you want, you pick the size that you want, you pick the gauge that you think you can get, and then it gives you an approximate amount of yarn that you need. Perfect for when you're going to a yarn shop perfect for when you're going to a fiber festival. Um, and so that is, that is app number one that I think everybody should have. It's probably one of the number one questions that I get asked is, you know, I would like to make a sweater. How much should I buy? Well, this kind of answers that question for you and helps you to make an informed decision. The second app that I really love is, um, it is the free one that I'm using, and it's called Stitch Counter. You can add lots of projects on there, um, but so you add in a project, and then under that project, you can add a stitch counter. So for this, I just called it raglan sweater, right? Because um, I'm only working on one thing at a time, but if I, if I had multiple projects going, I could um, be more creative with the names. Um, so you put in the project and then you go under the counters so you can count the number of rows of your rib or what I'm doing is counting the number of rows in my raglan. And so for me, it's like you start at zero, right? And then you um, go to, for like for me, it was 52 rows. And so each time I finish a row, I just click on my, on my phone, click, click, and it keeps track for me. And I don't have to have my piece of paper. I don't have to make the little check marks. Um, it's handled in my phone, and you know, most of the time we have our phones with us anyway. Um, I, I don't know that I would always have that piece of paper um, with me if I, you know, my pattern. If I know that I'm not going to need to look at this pattern for 52 rows, I'm not going to be carrying it around with me. So that one is called Stitch Counter. The last one is called Knit Companion. Love this app. Right now, I only have the, the free version. They do have a paid version. If you're a designer or um, if you want to be a designer, you'd probably want to have the paid part. Sorry, I got a little scratchy throat. Um, so, what it does is it will actually take any PDF of a pattern. You can hook it up into your Ravelry library, or maybe you have um, the PDF on your phone, and it will import your patterns into this app. Then you go into the app, and it will actually display all the pages of your pattern. It has, it has a bunch of different features. It has a counter on there too. Um, the feature that I used the most when I was making um, my most confusing scarf, which is the conflagration scarf, which I was gonna bring, but I didn't. Let me go get it. Boop. 
this scarf was so much fun to knit. It was all short rows. And so it had multiple pages of charts. And so anytime that I have a pattern that has charts in it, I want my, that knit companion. It has two ways to mark your pattern. There's a highlighter um, bar, and then there's a vertical bar that, you know, in my case, it's blue. And so when I was finished knitting for the day on this, I made sure that I left the L at where I needed to start. And so that way I knew exactly where I was. I knew what page I was on because again, there were multiple pages and I knew exactly where I was in this pattern so that I didn't get lost. Again, that one is free. It's called Knit Companion. I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, so those are my three, my, my three apps for the day, knit companion, stitch counter and stash bot, St B, B O T stash bot. They're excellent to have, and they will help you stay organized with your knitting.